Hi guys and welcome back to the channel held dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you see and want to see more. Coming up a new NARL club possibly and what does that mean to another NARL club? Adrian Lamb's future decided and Davy speaks on talks with RFL clubs and Super League. The news from Super League as we're going to confirm that Adrian Lamb will leave the club at the end of the 2021 season. Lamb, who has won the League Leader Shield and the Super League Coach of the Year award uh, in 2022, will uh, leave Wigan um, due to some indifferent results during 2021. Wigan chairman Ian Lennon said Adrian should be really proud of the three years in charge of Wigan Warriors. After initially being appointed on a one-year contract, Adrian earned two more years and won the League Leaders Trophy and coming astonishingly close to winning the Super League Grand Final in 2020. We are proud of, to have offered Adrian his first full-time head coaching job and will believe his experience at Wigan including the difficult COVID and lockdown period will extend, will lead on to even greater things for him in rugby league. Adrian joins a select group of players who have won trophies and represented Wigan as successful player as a player and a head coach and will always hold him in high regard. We will now take some chart time to review the season and the current staffing structure and make an announcement on his replacement in due course. Adrian Lamb himself said, this is the second time at the great club. My first being a player, then academy coach, and this time as head coach. I have loved every moment along this journey and will hold close to my heart some wonderful moments and memories. The people of Wigan have always made me feel like one of their own and that's why I love it, this town so much. I feel it's the right time to pursue other opportunities and will leave at the end of my current 2021 season contract. I would like to thank all the players, the coach, the club and the coaching staff who have been magnificent as part of the journey. I can't thank them enough. I would also like to thank all our fans for their continuing support. I wish the club all the success in the future and I'll be watching and supporting the team from afar. I've had three great years here, and this season is not over yet. Though the difficult time of COVID, my highlight would be the winning the Eagle the Shield and getting to the grand final, where we came so close. Winning the Super League Coach of the Year last year was also a personal highlight. This season has been difficult with injuries, but I've always said I have belief in this squad. I love and trust the players and I know when we get to the playoffs in good shape we can do anything and get the rewards we deserve. With now Lamb moving on, it has been long rumoured that his uh, assistant Matt Pete will join up as a full first team coach and also a return of Sean Wayne as director of rugby but none of that has been confirmed yet. Um, with Wigan waiting to take their time, I don't think that will be taken for until at least the end of the season. But whoever takes over the range, in my humble opinion, it is a massive job to undertake and there will need to be some um, players ins and outs, restructuring and also mentality shift so that these this club can get back towards where it once was um, under Wayne and Maguire before him and the main thing around that connects all those three people that I mentioned as well as Adrian Lamb that Pete has been there so Super League clubs have announced that they have agreed to hand over in excess of 
£5 million to the Rugby Football League in 2022 as talks continue on realignment of the governing body. The cash will come from the £25 million a year, uh, thought to be due from the new two-year television agreement the, with Sky Sports, which kicks in at the end of this season. Top Flight's clubs took on television negotiations when they broke away from the RFL in 2018, but interim Super League chairman Ken Davy, who took over from the executive chairman Robert Elstone in March, is keen to forge closer ties with the governing body. Ex-Huddersfield Giants chairman Davy told the media briefing on Tuesday that talks which began in July are taking longer than anticipated, but that he hopes for the conclusion by the end of the year. The process is causing me a little bit of angst on my part, he said, but we are making progress and I'm pleased with the progress we are making. In the meantime, Davey revealed that the clubs have agreed to give around a fifth of its television income to the RFL, which will decide how much of the £5 million plus to hand on to the Championship and League One's clubs individually. It's important to appreciate that Super League is by no means the only source of income for the RFL, he said. However, we have reached an agreement on the number in excess of 5 million, which I believe is a fair in every respect to both Super League and the RFL. Most sports, like most sports, TV income is down, and so it is clearly less than previously, but it is not an insignificant amount. That is for next year and provisionally for the year after, subject to the realignment. AP also had an announcement around the uh, format that the 2022 competition will take place as, and it has come out that um, the clubs have agreed to remain at 12 clubs ahead of next season, which effectively means that Lee are relegated, having just won of their 19 matches so far. The principle of promotion and relegation hasn't changed, said David, who says the Centurions will be eligible for a parachute payment. Davy also confirmed talks are ongoing for the restructure of the competition from 2023, with a proposal of a two division 10 team clubs on the table. A two division of 10 teams on the table. He continued, I do believe there needs to be significant change. We've got a tremendous product and we have, we need to widen the appeal of the sport. I proposed a paper about six years ago that was based on promoting essentially three leagues of ten and so, not, so one can see a sort of logic in the two divisions of ten. In an ideal world, we want a, stru a structure that gives the ability for promotion and relegation to take place and not more is easily and less draconian impact, particularly on the part of the regular uh, relegated club. Davy says a domestic calendar has been provisionally drawn up for 2022, which will take into the account the rearranged World Cup next October and November. The calendar is likely to see the return of a traditional Easter doubleheader um, and is due to reveal the grand final week in early October. More immediately, Davy says Super League is bracing itself for another bumper crowd on Magic Weekend, which takes place on Saturday and Sunday in Newcastle. Those are the weekend of the third, uh, 4th and 5th of September. Officials are not expected to reach the 40,871 that watched Saturday of 2015 event or record an average or the record aggregate gains of 68,256 set in 2016, but are looking to draw between 50 and 60,000 fans to St James's Park over the two days. 
and that would be a great positive for rugby league as fans coming back to watch the sport have been a little sluggish recently. So, see how that go pans out. Now we're back to the NARL as some exciting news has come out over social media over the last few days as it involved um, Justin Tucker who is the uh, USARL's women's uh, head honcho as he has decided that he will take his team Carolina Lightning into the NARL for the 2022 and has placed an official bid. In a statement, he said, The Carolina Lightning, like a storm that builds and grows with more energy, so too has Carolina Rugby League. The amount of excitement and dynamism, I'll try and get that word out eventually, that is, but a building around Carolina Rugby League is a driving force behind what we do. No. There is only progress upwards to continue to grow the game here in the United States and we know that there is only one way we can aid this growth. This is why today, September the 1st, 2021, we have formally submitted our application to join the NARL, North American Rugby League, for the inaugural 2022 season. Wish us luck as we hope to deliver great rugby league action on the pitch here in Carolina in 2022. And they ask you to share of that tag, a storm is coming. Now, with this official bid, all that I'm asking is, does that mean that a current NARL um, name team is going to drop by, by the wayside? Not 100% sure. I think they're trying to add teams to it, but my thoughts keep going towards the Ottawa Aces as they have committed to going into the rugby league in the UK, well, RFL Europe. And for me, that makes more like more of a reason why another team is is having a bid to join. NARL. I do hope that it is just a case for expansion rather than replacing one team coming out because two teams in Canada will mean a great effort for Canadian sports and we need to grow the sport up there as well. What we do know is that even though it's just conjecture at this point that Carolina uh, Lightning's entrance bid means that they are going to be playing in Annapolis. Um, you may have seen my video previously where they are talking about the All Stars game in originally with uh, Chasey Ruse and how they're getting massive support from the, um, the council down in Annapolis in North Carolina. Then it makes sense that they're going to stay there. Now, I wish uh, Justin Tucker and all his team luck in their bid. I do hope we'll be able to see another team race the rugby league field in 2022. And that's it for another video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember, like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide. I need your help. To grow this channel so that we can grow the sport the more things that we can do the more that we can uh, the more views the more people subscribing the more things that we can do whether it's supporting the teams in uh, Ghana whether it's um, support to the ever expanding NARL whether it's to send that support to teams in Serbia just don't know I want to grow this sport I need you guys to help me spread the word. I will keep bringing these videos out, sharing the message on all social medias. It's up to you guys. Watch, share, like, subscribe. In the meantime, all the best, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.